first, turn off your computer, disconnect it from the charger, flip it over, and remove the battery. Then, you will remove the plastic screw covers that are around the screen. There's two on the top, two on the bottom. After that, remove the four screws that were under the plastic screw covers. You will then proceed on to removing the plastic bezel. Be very careful because it is fragile. Then, put it aside. Now, remove the four screws that are under the four black pieces of tape. Make sure you only remove those four screws. Again, make sure they're the ones under the black tape. Now, place your screen on top of your keyboard. You will proceed on to removing the video cable. You will not be able to do this just by hand. You will need something sharp, like a knife or a scissors. You have to cut through the plastic that is covering the video cable. Be very careful as to not cut the video cable. Then, gently remove the cable. Be very careful and do it slowly. Then, put your old screen aside and grab your new screen. Place it on top of the keyboard. You need to connect the radio cable into your new screen. Make sure it is connected good. This is where the electrical tip comes in. Place it on top of the video connector to secure the connection. Now, place your new screen back onto the harness. Remove the protective cover now. At this point, you can test your new screen. Connect your charger and turn on the laptop. Make sure the laptop boots up properly. Now, turn it off and disconnect the charger. Now you can start putting everything back together. Start putting the four screws that were under the black tape. Make sure you cover them with the black tape they were with. And if you have lost them, you can use electrical tape instead.
you can now put your plastic bezel back on. Slide your hand all across the bezel until you hear clicking noises. That will make sure you have put it on right. After that, put the screws back in. There is two on the bottom and two on top. Put the plastic screw covers back on. Now close the laptop, flip it over and connect the battery back. Now flip it back over and connect the charger. Now you can open your laptop and turn it on. Your screen should be working. Thanks for watching.